Good day, Prismanatics! Welcome to another edition of Prisma Product Vlog. I am Jerome and I will be sharing with you all about Kumwell grounding materials. We have here a simulation of an LPS installation where you will see an air terminal on the rooftop, a down conductor connected to it, and this conductor is connected to the ground rod to dissipate lightning strikes to the ground. In order to connect the down conductor and the ground rod, you have two options. One is by using a ground clamp connector, and the other one is by using a mold. This is how you connect the down conductor and the ground rod using a ground clamp connector. Provided that the materials were cleaned and have been properly prepared, we just need to insert the ground rod and the cable end into the ground clamp connector and tighten the lock bolt. And that's it! Another way which is considered more effective and flexible is by using a mold. In using this method, we have to prepare the following Kumwell products. Bare copper wire, ground rod, mold, holder clamp, welding powder, and of course your standard tools. You should select the right type of mold depending on the type of connection that you need. Here are the different actual types of connections. We have horizontal to horizontal cable cross, horizontal through cable to ground rod, vertical parallel down cable to vertical rebar, cable to bus bar, horizontal cable cross to ground rod, angular cable drop to vertical steel surface, horizontal cable end-to-end, -end, horizontal tap to horizontal run, and horizontal through cable to side of ground rod. A while ago, we have shown you an exothermic welding connection inside an inspection pit. So, what is an inspection pit? An inspection pit is used for inspection and testing point of a grounding system. Periodically, we need to check the ground rod position as well as its connection to the conductor to ensure effective dissipation of lightning strikes to the ground. Kumwell's concrete inspection pit has a comprehensive strength of up to 6,000 kilograms. When installing it, it is important to consider whether the installation area is a sidewalk, a factory with general car traffic, or areas with heavy vehicles which require different weight pressure. So there you have it, Prismanatics. For further information, you may check Kumwell's exothermic welding process video with the link provided on the description box. Tune in for another Prisma product vlog coming to your end soon where we will discuss about soil resistivity. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our website at www.prismaelectrical.com See ya!